Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by All About Floors in Reedsville and Mayadan. New relaxed COVID occupancy limits go into effect in our state today at 5. Retail businesses, salons, and museums can increase capacity to 100%. Restaurants, wineries, breweries, amusement parks, gyms, pools, and recreational establishments will be able to operate at 75% capacity inside and 100% outside. Bars, sports arenas, conference centers, live performance, and reception venues go to 50% capacity in and out. Mass gathering limits increase to 50 inside and 100 outside. Here's an update on the new Wentworth Town Park. Mayor Dennis Paschal has set May 1st for the opening date, if a few last-minute projects are completed. The park needs a better stand of grass in some spots, a dead tree has to be cut and removed, and a six-foot-high fence erected along Highway 6587, total length about 600 feet. Quotes are expected next week. And Town Council is putting finishing touches on rules and regulations. The park has picnic shelters, grills, a trail, playground, covered stage, and restrooms. Rockingham County 911 received 120 calls overnight, especially busy after midnight, a large number of calls for EMS. A fully loaded 18-wheeler carrying McDonald's supplies wrecked on U.S. 220 at Smith Road, blocking the exit ramp. One vehicle wreck at 29 Business and Elm Grove Church Road on Troublesome Creek Bridge. One person injured refused treatment. About 5 this morning, a car hit a tree that had fallen across the roadway at Candy Creek and Friendship Church Roads. No injuries. Numbers in the news. $5 million. That's the amount of an anonymous donation to Salem College in Winston-Salem, the largest in the college's 250-year history. The money will be used for Salem's transformation into the only liberal arts institution with a distinctive focus on evaluating and expanding the role of women in health leadership roles. The new program begins in the fall. Sunshine or rains, you can always depend on lanes for countywide prescription delivery. <laughs> I, I apologize for that rhyming, but no apologies when I'm talking about Lane's Family Pharmacy Delivery Service. They do an outstanding job. Call 336-627-4600, 627-4600, or use their convenient easy in and out drive through Lane's currently has an opening for a customer service representative, someone with a good attitude, eager to learn, and desire to work in a busy, energetic environment. You'll be trained in all aspects of the job. Lane's has employees that have been there over 20 years. Apply in person at Lane's Family Pharmacy, Highway 14, Eden. Be great to be part of the Lane's family. Rockingham County weather today, sunny and windy. High 80, low 45 for the weekend, a 40 to 60 percent chance of thunderstorms, high in the mid to upper 70s, low Saturday 59, low Sunday 39. Monday sunny, high 63, then rain returns to the forecast Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Triad record highs and lows on this day, 87, 1929, 14, 1940. Get current weather information anytime at MikeMoore.media, along with Rocking Cam, our live stream weather camera. That's sponsored by Heat and Air Controllers for year-round comfort, whatever the weather. Need a tow? Dave's Towing is a call away 24 hours a day at this number, 336-932-7478. 
AutomotiveMap.com presents the Sports Flash on Mike Moore Media. Thursday's NIT action, the run's over for NC State. They fell 65-61 against Colorado State. Mississippi State moving on after a 68-67 win over Richmond. Memphis 59-56 over Boise State. Louisiana Tech 72-65 over Western Kentucky. NIT Final Four this Saturday. Memphis takes on Colorado State. Louisiana Tech battles Mississippi State. NHL Sebastian Ajo had the overtime winner. Carolina with a 4-3 victory over the Blue Jackets. Carolina with points in 8 of 10. They're three points off the Central Division lead. Back home tomorrow night, 7 o'clock puck drop against Tampa. NBA tonight, the Hornets take on the Heat. Miami traded for Victor Oladipo at the deadline. Atlanta visits Golden State. Download the free Score app. Lightning fast updates so you never miss a thing. It's why the Score app is one of North America's most popular sports apps. That's the Sports Flash, Chuck Sanders, Mike Moore Media. Now the community calendar, sponsored by Night Owl National Stoneworks in Eden in the former Kmart building. Granite, quartz, and marble for commercial and residential. Reedsville Kiwanis Club annual pancake supper drive through at Main Street United Methodist Church today, 4 to 7. Adults, $8. Children, 10 and under, $3. Grocery giveaway at Draper Pentecostal Holiness Church on Delaware Avenue in the morning, 9 till 11. Semi-annual Shiloh Shop Market on Mobley Loop, Stoneville, tomorrow, 10 to 5, featuring over 60 regional vendors and live DJ. Ticket $7. More information on their Facebook page. Paint and Sip at Hive in Eden, Saturday, 2.30 to 4.30 and 6 to 8. Tickets $35. You need to pre-register. Annual pig cooking competition at Spencer Penn Center, Saturday, April 17th, beginning at 1. Barbecue pre-order and pig patty bingo. Complete details on the Spencer Penn Facebook page. Annual bluegrass open jam at Sandy Ridge Community Center, Saturday, April 24th, 10 to 5. Bring a lawn chair, food vendors and crafts, $5 $5 donation. The annual countywide food drive now through April 30th, assisting seven local agencies with feeding those in need. Visit rkcfooddrive.org to see how you can help. Platinum Cuts is Rockingham County's newest and nicest barbershop and beauty salon. Owner Tim Dickerson. Platinum Cuts is on the opposite end of Night Owl National Stoneworks in Eden Venture Business Park. Monday is Senior Citizens Day. Haircuts $10, roller set $25. Here's today's Consumer Report. In its mid-month report for March, Cox Automotive found the wholesale price for used cars rose sharply over the last four weeks, in part because of declining inventories. The report also found higher prices are beginning to show up on the used car lot amid strong demand for used cars and trucks. The U.S. Postal Service has proposed a 10-year plan to help it improve its finances, a plan that would increase postage prices and slow first-class mail delivery. Instead of a one- to three-day delivery standard, the plan would give the Postal Service up to five days to deliver a letter. If you've been fully vaccinated, you may be looking for a nice rental cottage this spring or summer, but the Federal Trade Commission has a word of advice. Be very careful. The FTC says scammers are posting ads for vacation rentals that don't exist and usually ask for money up front. I'm Mark Huffman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. This week in history, 1867, delegates from 56 counties convened in Raleigh to launch the Republican Party in North Carolina. 1938, Slammin' Sammy Sneed won the first Greater Greensboro Open by five strokes. In Eden, 1983, groundbreaking for the Bryan Center on Oakland Avenue. And 2004, Quiznos Subs opened on Kings Highway. Always like Quiznos. It's National Spinach Day, Popeye's favorite. Licking ahead, Saturday, National Black Forest Cake Day. Oh boy. And Sunday, National Weed Appreciation Day. I'm not not absolutely sure we're talking about dandelions. Have to check on that. Big name birthdays, Diana Ross, 77, Stephen Tyler, 73, Kenny Chesney, one of Annette's favorites, 53, 
Martin Short, 71, James Kahn, 81, Alan Arkin, 87, Lisa Gibbons, 64, Bob Woodward, 78, Jennifer Gray, 61. Good reason to watch Dirty Dancing today. And a reminder to shop local, shop with Uptown Eden Merchants, a big variety of businesses, hometown merchants. You'll get more information on the Shop Uptown Eden Facebook page. Now, uh, let's check on uh, birthdays close by. Always on Friday, Friday and Saturday birthdays. None today, but one tomorrow, Kenny Hill. Happy birthday to Kenny Hill on the 27th. Got a lot of names for the week, however. Sometimes uh, people get birthdays in after we have the program, so I do include them here on our Friday broadcast. That's why we have a little a little more. Uh, so here's the week of birthdays. Sunday through um, the whole week, Kim Jones, Tammy Connors, Matthew Hurst, Kevin Southard, Bill Wright, Franklin Gibson, Janice Barham, Jackson Shreve, Darren Broadnax, Linda Adkins, Donna Hopkins, Becky Dunnington, David Smathers, Derek Meadows, Jerry Adkins, Wynn Gilly, Peyton Hall, Rachel Manuel, Jessica Easter. The birthdays for the week. Again, our best wishes to all of you. Going to shuffle them up. We have some nice giveaways coming up. About a $100 prize package going to Jackson Shreve. That was back on the, let's see, 24th. That was Wednesday. Jackson Shreve is this week's lucky birthday winner. Congratulations. Our prize is coming from Pizza Hut. Ingrid's Cupcakes and Confections, That Little Pork Shop, AK Emporium, Vernon Family Dairy, Preppy Pirate Outfitters, Wendy's, and Carolina Fuels. Get those birthdays in. Text them anytime to 336-932-1881. Podcast preview. I'll be talking to Eden Mayor Neville Hall, posting that around 1245 today on Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, Podchaser, and our other social media platforms. I'm ending the week with a Fun Friday song from Spike Jones. but first, our motivational moment. One of the best things people can have up their sleeves is a funny bone. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful weekend, friends. And I remind you, as always, to be sure to count your blessings.